Thank you again for agreeing to meet with me, man. I know it can't be easy to talk about your team sabotaging another teammate, especially if that teammate's your sister. Yeah, I mean, but it's better than the alternative, you know? I don't know, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Still, it's good to have your perspective. Bailey wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> I mean, that I'm not surprised about. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna ask you this one more time. Are you sure you wanna do this? We knew she didn't have the chops to get us to state, so... So you what? I... I handled it. It's a nightmare. So close to regionals and our captain is suspended. Plus, I'm pretty sure Theo hates me now. He asked if I turned her in. Why would he think that? I went too far. I accused Petra of cheating on Theo when I'd seen her with this guy Spike, but apparently it was just business. Either way, I'm not looking too good right now. Hey, you look good to me. To you and no one else. Doesn't a fake boyfriend count for anything? Then, I think we should call it. No faking it anymore. Really? I mean, I, I've been thinking about it too, and I, I the think- The whole point of this was to get Theo's attention, but if he insists that nothing can ever happen between us, then we can finally stop pretending. Oh. Yeah, of course. You were a great fake boyfriend. You were a great fake girlfriend. Any word from Kylie? No. Well, I can guarantee you'll find someone better. So are you. Hey, what's up? Please don't tell me Aki did something stupid. I swear, having a boyfriend is even harder than not having a no, boyfriend. it's not Aki, it's Simone. What is up with you two? Can't you just get along? Well, you know how Simone's grades suddenly got better? I guess. Well, she didn't become a genius overnight. She bought Tess, she bought them from Petra. What? Yeah, that's why Petra got suspended, was because of Simone. And no one knows? No one except us. You know I'm missing work for this, right? If I could do parent-teacher conference alone, I would. But they said you had to be here. What a waste of my time. You know they send reports to social services, right? Do you want to keep getting those checks in the mail? Hey, listen, don't you get sassy with me. Just try to pretend like you care. <sighs> JJ? Oh, hi. Is this... Cliff. JJ's foster dad? I'm Bailey, JJ's friend. Oh, glad to know she's got some friends out here. You know, I always took her for a loner, you know? She's not very pleasant to be around, right? Quite the opposite, actually. She has a whole dance team standing behind her back, ready to protect her if anyone tries to harm her. We're happy to know she has a safe place to live again. I think you do. I think you're a smart man, Cliff. Like my mom. She's the best lawyer in Attaway. She'd be very upset if she found out a friend of mine were in any harm. Just thought you should know.
Hey, can I talk to you for a second? What's up? I maybe potentially did something bad. What do you mean? Remember when JJ was talking about her biological dad? Yes. I found him. Or not exactly him, his obituary. Oh no. Does JJ know? You told her you were looking into him, right? Not exactly. <sighs> Seriously? You're just snooping around in her past? This is serious for adoptees. Kara, Kara, I thought I could help. I didn't. I, I didn't. I'm adopted too. I would have been so upset if you did this to me. No matter what your intentions are. I know. Respectfully, I don't think you do. My dad's adopted me when I was a baby, so I didn't have to go through the foster system like JJ. But they always let me make decisions about how much information I know about my biological parents. My decision, no one else's. And it should have been JJ's too. I don't know what to do. What's done is done. The least you can do is tell her the truth and hope she forgives you. No more hiding. We know how hard it is for JJ to trust people. I know. I'll tell her. Nice going, Ben. Didn't take you for a snitch. Yeah. Okay, well, at least I'm not a backstab. You know this is gonna cost you Provincetown, right? We're all going down for this. Okay, well, at least I'll be able to sleep better. You're such a Hey! Uh-uh. This is not happening. You, me, Will, principal's office. And the state kept sending Cliff the check, so he didn't say I was gone. So I guess you weren't living in some mansion. What do you want me to say? I needed to get you off my back, so I lied. I just wanted to help. I didn't want you to get hurt anymore. I know. I appreciate what you uh, said to him this morning. Of course, JJ. If you have to live with them, we need to at least make sure he can't hurt you. I don't want to shake up your world, but I want to keep you safe. Thank you. You tell me if something happens again. I meant what I said. We're a broken team right now, but we're all here for you. I just saw the article. Wow. Just, wow. They're suspending Will? Apparently, for a few games at least. How are you feeling? Honestly, I don't know, Kara. Like, I wanted those guys to pay for what they did, but this wasn't my choice. So it all feels weird. So Ben just told Michael on his own? Not exactly. Look, there's something I have to tell you, and you're not gonna like it. What? I was hanging out with that girl, Sage. Crown Lake Sage? Yeah, she's how the story got out. And I don't know if it was because she liked me or if she wanted me off the dance team. Maybe you were right. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't that. I mean, no offense, you're a pretty new dancer. She was probably just protecting you. Maybe. I still told her to buzz off. So you're not mad? As long as you didn't tell our routines or anything. Nah, no business, I promise. You know, it's nice that we can tell each other things. After Ben lied to me, I forgot how to trust people. You're a real one, Kira. How are you and Eggie? Fine. How's student council? Informative. I'm glad I found a way to balance my schoolwork. Okay, yeah, we get it. You're a genius. Okay, well, at least I earn my grades instead of buying them. Wait, what? How did you... How could you not tell us? Hey! She immediately realized that it was a mistake and tried to fix it. And why would it matter if I told you? Would either one of you offer to help me out? Quit blaming us because you're too busy to study. M maybe I'm too busy to study because I'm trying to keep this group together? Yeah, well maybe you shouldn't even try. Hey. 
Where are all your friends? Student government, biology, dance, anywhere but with me. What are you talking about? Don't you all have that silly name together? Had. It was this old thing that started with my friend Harmony's sister, Rhyme. They were called the Chicken Girls, and we all obsessed over them. They were like superheroes, and their powers were female friendship. So what happened? Rhyme got older, and Harmony took over. And then she moved away and told me to keep the group together, but I'm not sure I know how. I don't even think we're the Chicken Girls anymore. I think high school's really gonna change us. Of course it will. I can't tell you how many friends I've lost over time. It hurts, but it's natural. Besides, you have me. You're my only friend here, and you basically have to be. We're not friends, we're family. Ivy, I need to tell you something. I did something bad. What is it? I bought a test from Petra, and I got caught cheating. The only way the principal let me off the hook is if I read it out Petra. So, I did. Simone, you should have come to me if you were struggling with school. I could have helped. I just took the easy way out. And now I know it was wrong. And I'm sorry it cost you the dance team. It doesn't matter. The dance team, we're like superheroes in our own way. We'll figure something out. Chicken Girls 3.0. <laughs> Simone, you should know, if you ever need a study buddy, just give me a holler and I'll be there. Everybody decent? Maybe not knowing you guys. You're good, sis. It's just me in here. Oh, good. I was hoping I wouldn't run into Will. He brings out the worst in me. Did you uh, hear he was suspended? Yeah. At first I felt bad, but then I thought about what he did to me, and, well, you reap what you sow. Listen, I'm sorry I let him go unchecked for so long. I get it. In your own way, you were trying to protect me. It was wrong, but I get it. I'm proud of you now for standing up for me. It means a lot to have you in my corner. It was eating me up inside. I honestly didn't know what they were gonna do. Should have had your back. I always wanna be in your corner, sis. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Oh, I actually do have good news, too. Will's leaving the school? No, but I talked to Coach, and he agreed to give you another chance. What do you mean? He wants you to kick at the homecoming game. What? That's my dream! I'd... Oh. What? what, what what's wrong? Homecoming's the same day as regionals. Our dance competition? I can't be in two places at once. Bailey, you were only on the dance team as a backup. Okay, you're, you're fine. You're back on the team. You can come back. Kara. She'll be fine, okay? Come on, we need you. Next time on Chicken Girls. What, what did he find? Is he living in a fancy house with the perfect family? So exhausting. Whoa, Ivy, are you okay? Come on, who else could have turned me in? It doesn't matter who turned you in. You need to take responsibility for your actions, Petra.